before you plan your journey make sure you regularly update yourself with these information point there so you will be tested for the covid so it's a free what test the international students or who or who have gone home for christmas uh, how will that be you, you are unable to come yeah for the january intake due to the uh, basically the ban the flash ban uh, you need to let the university know so they if can I go uh, upload it on my video make sure you go yourself on the gov that you can <laughs>
herbs generally intake. Um, so here it says on Saturday the government announced a new tier 4 level of COVID-19 restriction. Uh, here are the, some of the answers of the question about how the announcement will affect university students. So this is very crucial for the January intake. So let's guys uh, start with the question answers. I'll just share the, the main points here from the answers and I'll let you study the whole sort of yeah, uh, blog here. Um, I, I don't want to spend you more time here. So let's let's start with the question one. Uh, how does this, this news affect our return to the university? So your university will tell you when, when to go back until then, we strongly encourage you to remain wherever you are and access your course online wherever possible. So this is very crucial. Uh, you should yeah wait for the university or choose your university what you need to do, whether you, you, you are required to go back yeah, for the face-to-face -face, uh, lectures or they are all online. Otherwise, in other case, if you don't receive any communication, you should uh, expect yeah the, the courses is online uh, if you do need to return let your university know so that that can support you so this is again yeah come to the communication uh, if you're planning to go back to the university make sure you email them and inform them yeah so they can uh, they can support you with that so this is very important point there uh, the, the next point is uh, the important point is about yeah the the main precautions you need to make sure you you stick to the rules so students should follow the guidance and restriction and should socially distance from anyone you do not live with wherever possible so this is the the main sort of precautions uh, a hand a face and space basically you need to ensure you stick to the rules uh, the second question is can I still travel home if I haven't done so already. Uh, this is particularly important for the local students. Uh, in December, start of December, there were a window actually provided for the students to move back actually for the Christmas break, uh, the first, the second week of December. Uh, so they were provided to the students. But here the question is raised: uh, if if I haven't been yet to the home, can I still do so? So the answer is. We expect that the majority of the students, other than those who need or choose to remain in the university, will have now returned to the family home during the student uh, travel window. So this is the travel window I literally spoke about. It was uh, the second week of December. Uh, though they are permitted to temporarily move to a vacation household during the period from the 3rd of December to 7th of February. So you still got basically a window there. You can move out and uh, uh, actually move out to the vacation household. Uh, right, so the, the next important point is uh, if, you live, if you live at university, you must not move back and forward between your permanent home and university home more than once during the break. So this is very crucial. I mean, if you're planning between, yeah, basically this is especially for the local students. If you're planning, to go back to the university accommodation, you only have one sort of yeah, uh, travel allowed, so you can only go once uh, to the home and come back to the university. Uh, the next question is, what if I'm in tier four? So majority of the UK, uh, well, the England is in tier four now, I would say 75% of the England is in tier four. So the same travel exemption applies to the students in all tiers, including tier four which allows the students to travel and join one other household. This means if, if you want to leave tier four and go to your permanent home or another household, uh, you can, but you should stay there until you are told you can return to university. So again, this is very specific about the traveling. So you need to make sure you make the arrangement before you plan your, your travel. You make you need to inform the university about your traveling arrangement as well. Uh, students in tier four should still adhere to all the local restrictions. So again, guys, uh, you need to make sure the communication is crucial. You, you let yeah, the university know about your plans. Uh, the next question is, will it be safe to study on the campus? So very important question, especially for the international students who tend to stay, majority of them tend to stay in the university accommodation. So university should follow guidance on reopening the building to ensure they have safe measures in place to minimize the spread of the virus and are as COVID secure as possible. Uh, this government 
expects all students to get tested on their return to the university wherever possible so that that can mitigate the transmission of the COVID and everyone's, univer and everyone's university experience can improve. Uh, getting tested is free and you will, sh uh, you will usually get the results in under an hour. So that's a very important point there. So you will be tested for the COVID, so it's a free test there. Uh, students should be get tested twice, three days apart, even if you are te your first test is negative. Uh, if positive, you should self-isolate immediately and get a confirmation P PCR test, Y, NHS test and trust. So the next question is uh, about the medical students. Obviously, they are in uh, high demand actually for the NHS as well. So it's about the if they want to return to the work. So what the situation is. So again, it's it's the same answer here. They have a window actually period between third of December to seventh of February, uh, so they can travel back to the university in that window. Uh, the next question is. What about the international students who or who have gone home for Christmas? Uh, how will that be affected? So this is equally important for the new uh, entrants as well for the January intake. If you're coming for the January intake, so all these are applicable to yourselves as well. Obviously, you you are coming in the January session after Christmas, basically Christmas break. These are equally important for yourselves. So make sure you go through all these uh, blogs here and very important information that's been shared by the. Uh, uh, by the Ministry of Education here. So uh, here the answer is our border are open for both returning and new international students wishing to study in the UK. So uh, obviously you have heard the news about yeah the some of the countries India Pakistan they have uh, banned the the flights uh, but it's actually the ban is from uh, from the, the 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 countries Pakistan India themselves so it's not from the UK so the UK border is still open you can still manage if you if you if possible through the transit here why Middle East you can still travel to UK uh, so the borders are still open uh, English universities have been asked to stake a return to the campus in January and February to help ensure students are able to resume studies as safely as possible so again same point yeah that's been discussed earlier uh, so the the uh, actual intake is is taken out uh, to ensure yeah less and less interaction with the with different communities with different students uh, university will uh, will tell students when to return over the course of January and February. Again, the same point. You need to ensure you ask the university about your your return. Even if you are international students, you need to email your university to confirm your your joining date there as well. Uh, until then, students should stay where they are and had uh, and access course content online this includes international students here we go so it's very clearly states here so even that's for international students if you are stuck back home uh, and uh, your your course is supposed to start basically in January you need to ensure you get all your access uh, your your logins details your portals details so you can the least you can access from home even if you are abroad uh, so you don't miss your course so this is very crucial if you're still waiting for any confirmation from the university you need to chase yeah the university for the important information and also uh, if you you are unable to come yeah for the January intake due to the uh, basically the ban the flash ban uh, you need to let the university know so they can uh, they can arrange basically the alternatives for yourself so this is very crucial and important updates here for the international students uh, guys this is very crucial especially for for the guys I mean you you are asking the question for the January intake yeah, I will let you read through all of them. Uh, basically, I don't want to yeah go through each individual. It's it's clear cut. It was very uh, in plain English that that's been uh, written here. So still, if you got any question, uh, use the comment section below, and I'll be happy to answer or elaborate more on these uh, on these questions or the Thanks answers. Guys, here. for your time, I hope this was useful. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please press the subscribe button. It's free. Thanks for watching.